So as you may have seen, Squall now has 19 spells junctioned. That's a lot of spells. Which is more than half of the total number of spells you can hold. These do we get? I'm dead. Yeah, Squall's at level 72 now. He was at like level 50 something when I started <laughs> this dungeon. <laughs> So, like, would you say this is a good place to train your stuff? Yes and no, because you it's difficult to make full use of your bonus abilities just because the enemies are too powerful. True. It's kind of high risk because there's no saves. Now, if you are bringing Quistus, then it becomes a much better place to train. Yeah. Uh, that is because if you have her at low hit points, then she can just use Degenerator. Which is sort of like using death, except it, like, never fails against non-bosses. Except Tonberries. Nice. It doesn't work against Tonberries. Tonberries are death incarnate. Yes, they are. We get pokey pokey. Yes, pokey pokey. That reminds me, one, um, the last con I went to, one of my friends, little brothers, cause played as a Tonberry. <laughs> and you can run pokey each of them, everyone. <laughs> I was going to use actually the appropriate size because he was only a ten-year-old kid. <laughs> so it was like walking around just poking everyone. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> kind of makes me think of the scene in the last Harry Potter book where the house elves come and start attacking. <laughs> <laughs> and yet they're, they're they're just tiny. So what can they really do? Um, they, they can stab people with knives. That's they true. do work in the kitchen. And that is true, they have access to some pretty kitchen knives. Don't underestimate the little ones. I am a little one, thank you. Oh, we had a discussion in a voice acting recording session on this topic. Oh yeah, yeah we did, didn't we? And it was funny enough that it made it into my Funniest Moments video. Oh, I really yeah. need to go back and watch those. Like, those are the best. All right, so this is the this is the bottom. Uh, as you can Finally. see, I am equipping no, the. As you can hear, because the background music went away. Okay, so, so you want to equip the move find ability, which will let you see that save point. Yay! I am very glad that I used that save point. Yes, well, you know what I said to you before the session about what happened. Uh, I can't remember. My short term well, memory is shit. Then you will see. <laughs> okay. Alright, definitely do not have any bonus abilities equipped because you need your characters to be very strong for this battle. Uh, you should make sure that every character can revive other characters. Because you're going to have to do a lot of reviving in this battle. Also, if you have the R spell, make sure that some whoever has it can use the magic command. The R spell is how I won this battle. What does R do? It it uh elevates your character's crisis level, which is a number that the game determines that it it's how likely your character is to get a limit break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get limit breaks even when you're not at low hit points. Oh. Okay, if you don't have team 10 steam pressure at this point, you'll probably be head desking because it's like, I have to go back all that way. <laughs> And Renoa has a bad feeling about this. Renoa is smart. Because why wasn't why was this excavation apparently stopped in the middle? And why is there nobody down here? Because, because bad things happen. What Jed said, she beat me to it. <laughs> yes, I they call me the insane fast one for a reason. Uh oh, spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh-oh. So everything spontaneously turned on. Well, I suppose the machinery still worked for some reason, despite apparent total lack of maintenance. Who 
even gives a care? <laughs> Yes. Now, I believe the TV tropes term for what happens now, what's about to happen, wait for it. Is... Come on. Happen. <laughs> I believe the TV tropes term for what happens now would be giant space flea from nowhere. Whoa. Yeah. And it opens up with my least favorite attack that he does. That is automatic 9999 damage, aka instant death that you can't prevent by junctioning death to spells to status defense. First thing you want to do in this battle, draw Eden. You do not want to miss that. I'm guessing Eden is a GF. It is the most powerful GF. Yes, good. Awesome. And that sword he's holding looks a lot like Cloud's ultimate weapon from 7. It also looks like Squall's ultimate weapon from 8, in that it's translucent. Ooh. Because all important weapons need to be translucent to increase their badassery rank. Second thing you want to do, <laughs> use Meltdown. To make it even more purple. <laughs> <laughs> So anyone who has the draw command can cast Ultima on this guy because he has Ultima as a spell. Long. Oh, and if you scan it, it's not going to tell you how much HP it has because the amount is more than 99,999. I hate that attack. Yes, you've said this. No, Zell! Well, Which yes. Is why you need everybody to be able to revive everyone. <laughs> I love Zell's getting back up animation. <laughs> he just looks really drunk. He goes up the booze a lot. I see Zell as someone who'd be like really. He'd seem like being drunk even if he he was drunk. He'd seem like he was drunk even if he wasn't. He strikes me as that type of person. Impression of Zell as a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> oh, I, that's kept trying, I kept trying to tell Colin that Zell was not a stoner. <laughs> it didn't work. But he didn't listen. <laughs> Zell is just one of those guys, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. I guess he never. I guess he has never been voiced. Like, he never appeared in the Kingdom Hearts games or anything. Yeah, pouty face. But yeah, at least no, he was it. For that. By the way, if I were ever to do a Let's Play of a Kingdom Hearts game, Squall would be called Squall, not Leon. I don't care what he says. I played Final Fantasy VIII before I played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yes. And the That'd two. Be awesome if you did do that. And you could you could complain about the camera in the first game the entire time because why? Is he... a stupid camera. I hated it. So Once much. I played the second game, I felt like I couldn't go back to the first game. It's not like it the first game. It is very difficult to do so because the controls are just so much better in the second game. Exactly. Um, I'm really only planning one more Let's Play after I finish the ones. Or other than the ones I'm doing currently, it is not a Kingdom Hearts game. I would love to do that, but. I'm a lawyer full-time now, so... Yeah. Oh, so I didn't actually use the Aura spell in this battle, I used an Aura stone. Now, if you have the Lionheart weapon, you really want Squall to get limit breaks. Even if you don't have the Lionheart... Oh, and he just ruined the effect of my Aura stone. Oh, pouty face. That so is Aura cast person by person, or does it cast the whole party? Person. Kind of annoying. Of course, you could, um. Oh, not with an Aura Stone, but if you're casting the spell, you could cast Triple on a character, and then you could have them cast it on the whole party at once. <laughs> yeah. 
So the reason why I'm doing having Zell just use Ultima over and over again is because he doesn't have a strength junction. No, don't choose that again. Yeah, I really <laughs> wish he wouldn't. Poor Zell. Poor, poor Zelly boy. Oh, with three really stars. That is a very this. good item. What is? Three stars. Three stars. Stars. You may notice something's going on here. He really likes the end of shit. I was like, what the fuck? There is absolutely no way I can defend against that. It is impossible. Welcome to Game Final Fantasy, my god. Thanks for watching, guys. We're done here. And if this were Shinko Sai's video, Dr. Hacks would be showing up right now. I was very angry at this point. I know Final Fantasy can do mean things like that, but goddamn. In so your, how would you defend against that? The only way to defend against that is, or there are two ways to defend against that. Number one, invincibility, or number two, just kill him before he does that. And this is why that save point is important. Yes. The developers decided this boss was a troll, so we had a, the save point just beforehand. Yes, now keep in mind, you have to use that ability, move-find, to see the save point. Oh my... <laughs> yeah, so if you don't have that ability, you're not using that save point. It means you better beat him on the first try. Sun, there's an optional boss, well, the second game, there's an optional boss you can fight which uses the most powerful damaging summon spell in the game, which in order for you to accomplish requires, um, basically, like, you have these little, like, uh, they call them the Jin that you can set, which, like, increase your abilities, kind of like junctioning abilities. So in order for you to use the summon that it constantly spams you with throughout the entire battle, you have to basically set all of them on into summon mode, which doesn't actually give you the stack boosts. So you go into battle severely underpowered in order to just use the thing once. And then you get spammed with it the entire battle. Mm. But the reward is the most powerful uh, summon in the game, which is... Everybody, all eight characters in your party, regardless if they're in battle or not, get a full heal, full restore, like, revive and all that fun stuff, and the four people you're currently battling with recover, like, a ridiculous amount of HP every turn for the next, I think, half a dozen turns. Mm. So it's also, very, very useful. Turns your characters into Wolverine. Basically, yes. And then, if you use it during a boss battle, they could just cast Break on you, which removes all um, status effects from you, basically. Well, like, stat, stat effects, rather. And for some reason, Recovery is counted as a stat effect, even though it doesn't affect any of your stats. Like, I don't understand. It's those obnoxious, but, like, yes. It's called Isis, like, Sharon and Isis. They're pretty badass moves. Isis. What Dax. is it that the Japanese have with... They must like, like, Egyptian gods. Like, between Yu-Gi-Oh! and... Eh. They also must I like... they sometimes run out of, like, things to use for, like, morphology monsters and things, so then they just, like, pick from random folklore well, from different countries. You use. They're kind of, like, from all over the place. Uh, oh. There's one... There's a summon called Daedalus, which you summon a giant robot thing, which fires a bunch of missiles and then shoots off a humongous missile, which hits, like, I think at the end of okay, the... Okay, this is important. I'm giving Squall 5 Aura spells. Yes. Sorry, go on. And then, like, you can summon... There's a few more, like, Fancies. You can summon Magara. You can summon Moloch. You can summon, uh... Like, there's lots... There's... A lot of summons in that game. 
and they're from all kinds of mythologies. 